Here's a three minute tutorial on how to install the latest from Deep Lab Cut. Go to deeplabcut.org, scroll down until you find the download conda file button. Simply click, the file will download. Copy the command. Back in your terminal, cd your change directory to your downloads folder and then paste the command in the terminal. As you'll see, the package starts to build. All right, now that the package is building, we're gonna just check out the code. I wanna highlight some new docs that were released recently. Here in the Jupyter book, you'll find a lot of tips and tricks, i.e. check out recipes for advanced installation, but in general, you can follow this how-to guide, i.e. how to install Deep Lab Cut. I assumed, of course, that you had Anaconda installed, more on that in a bit, and all the directions that I've said verbally are written here in this guide. Of course, I'm installing on a MacBook, so I don't have GPU support, but definitely just look over these docs. What you'll need to install is CUDA and NVIDIA driver and CU DNN in order to enable your GPU support on a Linux machine or Windows. Back in the terminal, let's check on the progress. As you can see, the build is progressing nicely. If you're new to Conda, there's a lot of really cool features and commands that you can do. For example, check the docs for the Conda cheat sheet. A lot of good tips and tricks. While you don't necessarily need any of these for the installation, it's a good practice to get into utilizing Conda environments, potentially for your other projects. By the way, as I mentioned, if you hadn't installed Anaconda, it's super simple to do so. Truly just click here. It already will automatically find what type of operating system you're using, but just in case, you can click to get additional installers for Windows, Apple, and Linux systems. As you can see in the terminal, everything is installed, the Conda and the pip dependencies, it nicely tells you what command you can copy paste to launch your new environment that has everything installed. And by the way, you can delete that YAML file if you want to. You can literally be in any directory on your computer and still call the GUI or any of the Deep Lab Cut functionalities. As a quick example, on a Mac, you type Python W-M Deep Lab Cut and this will pop up the GUI. On other systems, you can just type Python. Happy Deep Lab Cutting.